Hello, like many of you, I have been off of my normal routine the last few weeks and months. Um, this virus and its shutdown have really uh, tumbled my life around a little bit. Um, but in the midst of all of this, I wanted to reach out a little bit uh, and um, take a moment to say hello to my artists, colleagues, and friends, um, both locally and around the world and to reach out and invite you into my world just a little bit. Uh, if I can't be with you folks, the least I can do is have you here. Um, first though, I do want to say this. Um, I really do hope you're doing well, that your families, your loved ones are all happy and whole at this, ta at this time. Um, like you, or like some of you anyway, I too have had uh, family and friends uh, get sick or worse. Uh, during this uh, pandemic. If that's the place you are, um, I'm sorry, and my heart goes out to you, and please know that you are not alone. It's, it can be really tough right now. Um, that said, um, all my immediate family, Mary and our grown kids and my closest relatives are, are all well, and uh, knock on wood, so to speak, uh, I'm, it's really great to have, be able to say that and report that. Um, I've been sequestered a little bit, if you might, you might say, uh, at least marginally sequestered, uh, the last few weeks and months, mostly at home, uh, a lot in the studio. Gotten out a little bit for some sketching, but uh, being really careful about where I go and not calling attention to myself and trying to stay away from everybody. And I've also been, as I said, working in the studio for a lot of uh, practical and mundane things and also working on some art projects. And um, that's in part because I guess in back, back in mid-March when I realized how bad things could probably get, uh, I canceled everything that I was doing until the beginning of the summer. And as the summer approached, I realized that others are not going to be comfortable getting out there and getting doing close on education, close on gigs. You know, workshops might be, might work, but um, most folks aren't going to be comfortable getting to those. So uh, I've canceled everything until uh, at least mid-August, and they wouldn't be surprised if some things got rescheduled from even the fall. Um, but you know, with a little bit of help from technology, I can invite you into this space, at least visually, video, uh, digital wise, if you might say. Um, so I figured I would show you around the studio a little bit. Um, let you see some of what I've been up to, uh, some of the projects I've been working on, besides the mundane, silly things behind the scenes, um, and uh, also let you know a good bit about maybe what's coming up in the next few weeks and months uh, as we learn to cope in this new world. All that said, uh, it's probably time to show you around this, the, the space a little bit. Good, good to have you here. This small space is uh, a major part of my studio, actually. It's a place I do a lot of things uh, almost every day. I use this area to do preparatory studies and designs for my larger paintings and my large drawings and on paper and mylar. To the left in the picture here, you see my, draw, uh, my drawing table, and to the right, a movable tabaret. It's actually a, a metal cabinet that I put a huge top on top of. Um, it's where I put my palette and my inks and other materials I'm, I'm using to work up sketches and studies. This area here to the right of the table though is a um, set of shelves where I have a lot of my sketching materials. And that's sketching materials for both in the studio and outside the studio when I'm doing urban sketching or, or landscape work. And um, so that's, what old sketchbooks and new sketchbooks both, I guess. Um, around the room, however, you'll see that there's an awful lot of uh, unused uh, aquaboard panels and some also some uh, gesso board panels and things like that. Those are things that I'm going to use for large paintings a little bit later and uh, on panels and also there's matting and framing materials. And to this other side of the table, uh, this table to the other side, actually, uh, is where I will oftentimes do cleaning up or prepping work for sketches to be matted or framed or even cleaning up panels and medium-sized works 
to be stored for, for later. So over here on this table, I've got lots of sketches from class demonstrations, workshop demonstrations, as well as my, as well as my exploration of cities all over the United States and certainly things much closer to home as well. Uh, you know, Chicago to Salt Lake to to Atlanta and points in, but lots of points in between. That's the design part of the studio. But if we back out this door and turn to the left, we'll get into the larger space I use for drawing and painting. That small room where we started is the space I use for prepping work to come into the studio or for prepping work going out of the studio or into storage. Uh, this is the larger space that I tend to work in. In fact, it's uh, actually a converted garage and I've got a couple of easels here as well as large panels that I have attached to the wall that I can pin pieces up to for working on large paper or mylar. And um, I've got a couple of tables, another a rolling tabaret again. And on the back wall, if you will, I've got uh, panels for large paper pieces and a smaller panel over here in the corner that I actually frequently use for pinning up a piece that is almost done, but I'm not quite sure of and I want to just look at it for a while. Sometimes they stay up there for weeks, if not months. But uh, lots of times I use it for pinning up pieces that are uh, that photographs, sketches, designs, and just pin them up up there. This is a paper piece I started uh, probably over a year ago and then set aside and brought it back out last fall and did some pretty serious work on it. I'm still excited by it, but I put it away a bit again over the winter. Uh, just wasn't busy with this one. I had other pieces going on, and uh, so I, but I set it up here in the studio uh, during the winter and wanted to look at it a lot and have made some, deci some decisions. I'm scrubbing some color off before I put on some more in other places. I like the abstraction of this one. I wanted to get just a little more places filled in, a little more, uh, a little bit more of the big pine tree. I guess it's a pine tree. It's uh, it's definitely a, a non-deciduous tree that's in the background in, uh, behind these ferns that are growing up in my backyard. And to the to its right, I've got the beginnings of a new mylar piece that I haven't. Uh, quite brought to full resolution, anywhere close really. It's a fairly long piece, but right in this minute it's, it's uh, my tabaret table is covering up my ability to show you the whole thing, but I'll talk about that in, a, in another blog and another video a little bit later. When back in December and then through February and March, I was more and more sequestered in my studio, I brought out an awful lot of uh, older panel paste pieces, uh, paintings that were that I'd started on panels, some that I'd abandoned, some that I just wasn't particularly happy with and sort of set aside. And as is the case with me quite frequently, I brought them back out. It's time to play with them some more. And that's what you see stacked up over there uh, in those bins and up against the wall. Pieces that uh, I think have potential, but have never quite come together. I'll show you some of those a little bit later. Um, but over here you can also see that I've got uh, another drawing table and it's the, I, I guess it's the one where I take pieces that I'm working on and rethinking a little bit uh, unless they go all the way back into the, into the inner sanctum of the smaller space. Um, you can see what I'm working on here is I've got a, uh, a, a horizontal, a long horizontal skyscape basically. It's, um, it was a piece that I was going to pair with something else and decided that it, eh, it didn't quite work. So I'm not going to throw it away. I, I like it. It's, I think it's kind of fun. But what I'm working out here, uh, both in the sketches to the right and actually here with cut paper for the moment, is I'm trying to imagine what kind of shapes I'm going to want to throw on it. I know they're probably going to be rectangles, uh, stripes, but this one I'm thinking about making some pretty aggressive small pieces 
they won't be black, but I've cut out the paper a little bit and you can sort of see what I'm coming up, trying to come up with, I think. Here on my uh, little small side table that I use next to my drawing table, I've got a, a piece that has been a panel that's been stained. Uh, I guess it's nine by 12. And I did some sketching and drawing out along one of the uh, local highways, stopped by a creek and did, uh, did some small sketches, which are not sitting here at the second, but I also got a photograph or two or maybe a dozen. And I've transferred uh, the sketch to the panel, which has already been pre-stained partially. I'll probably stain it again with some more color, uh, and then finally begin painting on the panel. Uh, this is uh, an aqua board by, uh, uh, let's see, what's the name of the company? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, the aqua board uh, is a nearly watercolor-like surface, and I quite enjoy working on them. Uh, actually quite a bit and I've got a small stack of them here in fact uh, where I'm bringing them back into the fold if you will things that have been worked on that are not quite finished so I've got them stacked up here for uh, a little more work and over this way uh, you can see uh, my planning calendar and I'm guessing you can probably tell just looking at that that it is pretty empty for the, for now and for most of the rest of the year. Everything that I had planned on doing, uh, with the exception of uh, something with the North Carolina Governor's School and the uh, AP Studio evaluation of portfolios, uh, all my other things were in person and have been canceled. Um, just like everybody else, having being sequestered now for two or three months. So. That's my studio with its large drawings and larger and smaller paintings on panel and paper and the small work going on over in the preparatory part of my studio as well as cleaning things up and getting rid of them to, 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 to show them or to, or to store them for the sketches especially. Um, it's, it's been a real pleasure to uh, bring you into my studio since I can't be out amongst people right now very much. None of us can. Uh, only just beginning to get back to that world of being a little bit open. But um, I always like doing open studios and inviting people in. So this was a way for me to reach out a little bit, say hello to you, um, send you some information about what I've been up to. And I've got some things I've got coming up as well. Uh, I'm planning, frankly, now that I'm learning how to use a some different kinds of cameras and do a little bit of video, which I'm not particularly ex excited always about doing video. Um, I'd rather be talking to you in person, of course. But that said, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a several little uh, videos and uh, little short snippets of videos uh, every week and trying to post a couple, several, three, four times a month, um, small demo pieces, things about me working in the studio or working on outside on a sketch. Um, also, uh, studio materials, exploring different materials that you might be wanting to use in, in your mixed media or watercolor or painting or drawing or sketching techniques. I'll be exploring different materials uh, with little in little short videos and demo pieces, um, and I'll be posting those. I'm gonna post the very tiny ones on Instagram and Facebook. I will also be posting uh, the slightly longer ones, the two, three, four, five minute pieces um, via mail or on my blogs or both and looking at trying to just send you guys more material that you might like to have. Uh, I'll also be sending out some of the things that I hand out in, in, in classes. Uh, I've been updating a lot of those handouts that I like to, to send digitally. So I've been making them more interesting hopefully I'll be passing those along to you guys. Um, just looking at, at ways to reach out to the people who've supported me over the years, who have uh, been friends and colleagues, uh, students, um, people I've met along just along the path, and trying to send things back out to them because that's what I like to do. It's one of my ways of coping with the world. And we've got a lot that we're trying to cope with right this minute. Uh, you know, the, the disease that's running rampant all over the, the country, um, and then the, the shutdowns and the quarantines and all that that have been just so disruptive. And frankly, the, the righteous rage that's in our streets right this minute, uh, seeking to have 
greater quantities of justice and more appropriate justice uh, socially and otherwise in, in our culture. So as we all cope with all of that, this was just a way for me to, to reach out as a one human being to others that I know and to say, I'm here, I hope you're out there. And as we move forward, uh, I'll be, as I said, I'll be sending you some more information and uh, I greatly appreciate you being in, in my life at some point, in some way. And this is just my way of giving back a little bit. Um, going forward, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being kind to yourself and to others. And I hope you're finding as much peace and beauty as you can in um, these slightly unsettled times. Until next, I get a chance to talk to you. Uh, do take care and be well. Thanks.